guys so by the title of this video you can tell it's my current foundation routine um if you are interested please continue to watch talk to you later bye hey guys welcome to my face i'm about to show you my current foundation routine that i do every day i might switch up my foundation every now and then but for the most part this is what i do to my face first of all i'm about to clamp my hair back because i don't want to get any other product in my hair so what i'm about to do first i'm going to use my clean and clear dual action moisturizer and moisturize my face I don't have any dry I don't have dry skin I have fairly normal skin so um, when I break out it's rare that I break out um it just depends but I do get breakouts if I don't take off all my makeup at night or you know stuff like that like stuff that I supposed to do that I just don't do so I have to create a consequence for it later on right now I only have two blemishes right one right here in the middle of my eyebrow and one right here on my cheek but the one on my cheek is going away and this one's just red because I was messing with it which you should not do mess with your marks with your pimples or anything because it leaves marks on your face so once your face is completely moisturized I drag my moisturizer down to my neck because sometimes I blend my foundation down to my neck but once your face is completely moisturized, what I like to do is prime my face and I use the Benefit Professional. That's my face primer. And it works amazing. I know I say amazing a lot in my videos. I've noticed that. But it comes on and it leaves. I when this stuff works so good. I love to use it. I have a little cold right now. That's why I'm been sniffling. Make sure you get that all up in your all real good. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna use is my Mac Pro Longwear in NC42 oh, if it comes out in NC42 and I just like to dab that right on right underneath my eye you can get a lot more than that just dab it and I like to take my beauty blender the top part of it this part the comb part of my beauty blender and blend it out because it can get all the way up into your crevices that a brush really normally could not get up under and I like to conceal all of that up in there I'm not going to do a highlight and contour in this video I will make a separate video for that because that's when you go more into depth for your highlight and your contour and I like to use the cone to get up in the crease but then I like to pat it in also so works very well and then I like to tap a little bit of whatever was left on my finger onto my like my I got this little breakout right here onto the red part of that and then on this and that's like a lot of product but just like tap it on there so it does not appear so red I do that with any of my blemishes just so it doesn't appear so red but foundation going all up right there so it's not gonna look like cray cray so now I'm gonna take my um Maybelline Superstay 24 hour makeup put a little bit on the 
back of my hand. Put a little bit on the back of my hand. And I like to dab this everywhere that I want my foundation to appear. But another reason why you don't really put concealer, I mean, why you don't put foundation up underneath your eyes because it's heavy. But if you conceal it, it, it looks better for one. And also because it's not as heavy as the foundation itself is on your under eye. So then with my damp beauty blender, I'm going to pat, going around in a patting motion and just pat it into my skin. First it's just rubbing it in. I'm going to pat it in. And like I said, I'm not going up past my, the, the end part of my nose to right there. I'm not going to go touch that. Like the end part of your nose and just go up like right here. You don't go by your eye at all. And you, when you get good at it, you could go around real quick and everything. But I'm just trying to show you how to go about doing this. It's fairly easy once you get the hang of everything. Like, I got the hang of it. So, but I'm just trying to slow down a little bit to show you how to do it. And as you see, you don't really see that breakout. But you know it might be something underneath there or that is coming. You don't see the redness and everything, and that's what I like. And as you see, that foundation is flawless. Um, I do use my MAC Studio Fix Fluid a lot, but on an everyday basis, I don't use it. Because MAC can get a little expensive, baby. Let me just tell you. But that's what I do. And it works amazing. And I just go back around with the other side of my fun beauty blender that wasn't no product on it at all. And I just go around to make sure I get all the excess. So it just don't look cakey at all. So I get all the excess, damp all the excess off of it. And it looks good. So a what I use to set my foundation, I've been loving this Iman Cosmetics um, powder, pressed powder in Earth Medium. It says it's a luxury pressed powder. I love that. And I take my Sonia Kasha Big Powder Brush and I place it all over my face. I love this stuff. And I actually purchased this from Walmart. Some Walmarts have it, some Walmarts don't. Because I got this from the Walmart in Jacksonville, Florida. And um, at my Walmart here in Kingsland, it doesn't, we don't have it. So this is why I have to go to get mine. And like I said, I'm not going to do a contour or a highlight so I'm not really gonna do all that because I'll put that in another video but what I am going to do is add blush I love blush so what I'm using is my L'Oreal true match blush in rosy outlook this is from the C5 the 6 and you smell a little bit just put it right here in that area to give it like a little awesome glow and I like to set my pout face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And voila, that is my foundation routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.